of the world generate just about every week. They got attention with one this week because it was so outrageous, but it goes on just about every single week. They do need to recognize that while they might be rising above it, it is important to the American people that we, as an institution, as people who are progressives, Democrats, that there is some fight back going on. But it doesn't have to be just on these so-called frivolous things. It can be on substance, too. I think that the president did a disservice when he didn't stand up during the, the midst of this, this Gulf oil spill and made the case for comprehensive energy reform in specific terms and why it's important to the American people, why it's important to our national security, much more full-throatedly. And if it turned out the Republicans and maybe a handful of Democrats were going to drag the bill down, they should have had to do so with a fight. And I think that's where the line gets drawn. Is there somebody, anybody powerful enough and loud enough outside of the White House to make those cases for them if, for whatever reason, the president and the White House aren't willing to do it themselves? Well, besides me, you mean, Rachel? <laughs> no, I, look, I, I, I think that there are some things that absolutely need the presidential leadership. And I got to tell you, he, we are going to have a moment coming into this election, and he's going to have his moment in 2012, where we are going to get a chance to look up at the scoreboard and remind people how much was done. And I think the American people are smart enough to realize that part of what we're doing in these elections is to giving, giving credit for these things. And maybe we're losing the day-to-day -day war, but this has been a remarkably accomplished administration. And you listed all the ways, and I think this Congress is going to get more credit for it than I think the day-to-day -day pundits uh, uh, believe. But ultimately, the answer is no. The President of the United States has to go out and fight for some of these things. And it's not the worst thing in the world to go and fight for something that has national support and maybe lose in the United States Senate. I think there's only so long that senators are going to vote no against things that are ultimately popular nationally. Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner of New York, thanks very much for your time tonight, sir. Nice to see you again. Thank you. So there was a time not long ago uh, when I thought the most compelling thing about covering the midterm elections this year uh, was going to be the theme music, the theme music, which I love. <laughs> Even when I know it's coming, I still get that little... Anyway, uh, while I do love that theme song, uh, turns out the midterms are turning out to be awesome to cover, not just because of the music. Uh, they're being awesome. They're, they're turning out to be awesome to cover by, by a factor of, of Sharon Engel, of Tom Tancredo. And, and tonight, for the first time I'm aware of in American history, the midterms are becoming awesome to cover because of the threat of bacon police. Bacon police are coming for you, America. All of that, plus the theme music coming right up. <laughs> 